Hey everybody, welcome to me paintings. I'm Veronica and today I have got a rainbow day so I will be making a rainbow flip cup and I want to show you how to do that. I know there's loads of new people coming to my channel and you also ask me how do I make my white base mix, uh, coat mix. So I decided I'm gonna show you everything to today so you can do it too. It's easy peasy. You just have to have the right colors and right ratios and then it works quite well. For my base I will be using this white color from Goya. So I will take my cup and I will just mix my white color with pouring medium. So. I use 50% of color and 50% of pouring medium. I measure everything by heart, but if you've got measure cups, you can measure it. You just have to have the right consistency of your colors. Let's see. Yep, this is the right consistency, not too thick, not too thin. And for my colors, I also used 50% of colors and 50% of pouring medium. And but I make my own pouring medium from glue and water. I put it in this bottle and I use exactly this one. I got this one in local art shop, so I don't have a link for this one. I'm sorry, but it's PVA glue. I know in America, you, some of you use Elmer's glue or different kind of PVA glue. And this works very well for me. It's milky base and I use 60% of this glue and 40% of water. And that's my pouring medium. And I also squeezed a little bit of this gauze varnish in my colors. This works as a cell activator. But if you can't get this one, I bought this on um, in local art shop, so I don't have a link to this one as well. But if you don't want to use this one, you can also use silicone oil. I'm sure loads of you already tried that so i think that's all i wanted to say now it's time to pour my white coat in here let's move it around my canvas like this and now it's time to pour my colors so firstly i will pour my white in here then green And let's make my flip cup. Boop. Here we go. It's floating. Ooh. Some nice, interesting rainbow colors. Let's do this. It's so cool. I love rainbow colors. You can see quite a lot of yellow in there, but that will disappear. Look at all these beautiful rainbow cells. So now let's move it. And later on, I will use my torch.
I'm just gonna move it down a little bit because I don't like this, this bottom part. I know you can't see many cells now, they disappeared, but when I use my heat gun, I promise the cells will show and they, they will pop. Let's use my torch, I've got a new one from Lidl. It was cheap, it was like 10 euros, but it works well. So let's pop these cells. So let's see, look at that, ooh nice ones, I know the cells will grow a little bit more. It's still wet, but look at that, how much that changed, I love it, I can't wait to see what's getting out of this. Hey, welcome back after three days. My pour is dry and it didn't end up the way I hoped for, but it's okay because it's a great opportunity to create some 3D art into this acrylic pour. And you can already see I draw some squares in here and I'll be making super easy 3D effect, which looks so cool. And I'm gonna show you how to do it. It's very easy. You just draw lines and squares and that's it. It will look like there's a hole inside of my pour. And for that I will be using my alcohol ink based um, pen. It's this brand. I bought this in local art shop but you can order these online. It has got two different tips. One is bigger and the other one is smaller which is great for this case. So let's start creating some hole. And now I'm gonna mix a little bit of black acrylic color with water, like this, just a little bit, so you have got very like, pale black. If I, and I'm gonna paint some shade here, because this part needs to be a little bit darker. Then the other part. So don't put your brush in black acrylic color, only in the mix of water and acrylic. And here's the result of my hole inside of my acrylic pour. I think this is a very cool effect. It looks so 3D. It looks like it's going down under the table. Well, I hope you enjoyed this little easy tutorial. It, there's like millions of ways how to use this effect. You can make loads of different variations. And if you've got some pour which you're not 100% happy, you can turn it into amazing like 3D art. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give a thumbs up or subscribe to my channel or you can also hit the bell and receive notification every time I upload a new video. Thank you very much for watching and see you soon. Bye.